everybody knows tonight, 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 tonight is going to be the best night of my life. Hey everyone, it's Amy, and I'm here at the FM 1061 Class of 2015 event with John Kane. How yeah, are you? Great. How are you guys doing? I'm good. How does it feel to be part of events like this, where they're really just showcasing emerging country artists? Oh man, it's huge. I mean, you know, we played Madison with um, a lot of the same group of guys last night, and it was just, I mean, the amount of talent on stage is just, it's ridiculous. It's an honor to be a part of it, for sure. And it's a great unique setting, too, because it's all acoustic. It's kind of like mm -hmm. a jam band feel. Right. Yeah, it's cool because you you know it's it's kind of like a bonding moment between the artists to be kind of playing together as like this one big band on stage. You know, it's really cool. Well, let's talk about um, your EP, Something in the Water. You're definitely yeah. feeling the rock and roll influences in your single Tonight Tonight, mm -hmm. which cracked the top forty. Yeah, that's gonna feel great. Oh, it was awesome. Yeah, thanks to the, shoot, you guys playing it a lot. Thank you so much for playing it. <laughs> Why did you want Tonight Tonight to be the first impression of John King to people? I just thought it was a fun song. I mean, it was one of the only songs I didn't write on the on the record. And the reason being is just I fell in love with it. Like, you know, I just heard it. And someone played it for me. And I was like, man, I want to cut that song. And it was actually a pop song. And uh, I was like, I think it'd be a cool country song, you know. So I, I did my version of it and cut it. And I was like, I think this needs to be the first single. It's just a great message. I mean, who doesn't want to hear it tonight? It's going to be the best night of our lives, you know. Exactly. So it's, it's fun. It's easy to sing. And it's it's just a blast. I was kind of snooping on your Twitter feed a little earlier, and you <laughs> hinted that a new EP is almost done. Yes. When can people expect it? So I, I'm, I've heard that it should be done, like, ready to, like, package and, and get shipped out within the next couple weeks. Soon. So, yeah, within within a week or two, I should have a release date on, on Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff. I'm so excited, too. You put a lot of emphasis on fan support and how that carries some artist's career. Yeah. And I heard that at or your earlier shows you would give your phone number yeah uh, during the show to make a connection with fans yeah. tell me about that um it's it's kind of a crazy thing and i think people a lot of people think i'm just like you know <laughs> fibbing that it's not really me but it, it really is so yeah I, I got a phone and um I, i've got a I, I set up a whole another number just for my fans and it's really my phone it's like it's my phone i carry it i have it out in my guitar case <laughs> And yeah, I gave out my number and I, you know, I text every fan, like we were doing a show with Justin Moore and there was 10,000 people and I got like 4,000 text messages on stage. <laughs> Sore so, thumbs after. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, it took me, it took me like probably 15 hours over the next two days, just a little bit at a time texting everybody back. But it was crazy because I mean, like all those people now are fans because it's all about trying to do something a little bit different that nobody else is doing and how can I go the extra mile to make my fans feel special you know and it definitely breaks down the barrier from of yes. being on stage they show you as a real person right exactly how do you want to grow as an artist in 2015 since this is the class of 2015 hmm well I mean you know we got a new single coming out which is, is gonna be on the EP called on your lips so to me I think that the whole thing is just let's just get the single of the charts tonight tonight was a great way to kind of intro to, to the world and say here I am so now it's just building on that and you know that just comes from the support of the fans and the support of radio and just the country music world is just amazing it's, it's a big family and I'm learning that it's my first year in the industry and I'm still new and I just love it man I love all the people so if fans weren't able to snag your number at a previous show what's the best way for them to stay up to date on you you can um i mean i do all my own social media so if you tweet me at john king country or instagram at john king country that's all me like i'll answer and i try to get back to everybody i mean i think it's i think it's fun to kind of stay in touch and see i mean these are my fans these are i mean these people are the reason i'm here doing what i love to do so i want to treat them good and make sure they know that they're special <laughs> Touchdown the battle It's only